Hey folks, just thought I'd make a quick video about a common problem that I tend to see a lot with uh, Detroit DD15 and 13 engines. It's an EGR problem. It'll set fault codes, uh, it'll cause low power, derating, that kind of thing. Uh, I got a picture of some codes here on the screen that you might run into. There are other ones, but these are ones that I tend to see a lot. I've also got another video on how to read codes out of a Cascadia dash in case that's what your Detroit engine happens to be in. That's what most of them tend to be in. There's really two purposes to this video. One, I want to show you an easy fix if your engine already has these problems and how to prevent them from happening again. So first of all, what's this? Well, this is your EGR differential pressure sensor or delta P sensor a lot of people call it. The EGR flows through a venturi pipe on the front of your engine and the sensor sits on that pipe and it measures the EGR flow through the pipe by reading pressure through two ports drilled in the pipe. Now there's many different problems with your EGR system that could cause these faults and others but these two ports are your most common and the simplest fix that I see. So we'll remove the sensor and you're going to immediately see one of the two issues with it. To remove it, just uh, push the red lock over and push down the locking tab to release it. But uh, these connectors, they are exposed to a lot of heat and they can get pretty brittle, so just be careful with it because they can break. Two 10 millimeter screws later and the sensor's removed. There's uh, two O-rings that seal it, so you just got to be careful not to drop them or lose them. And the first thing we find is water, and lots of it in this example. Moisture can be present in EGR, and we tend to see a lot of problems like this when temperatures fluctuate around the freezing point, dipping below, rising above freezing, sometimes in the same day. The moisture that builds up can mix with the soot in the system, and that brings us to the second issue, blockage. Even without water, the ports in the pipe can become blocked by the soot that's always there in the system, and when you add in water, it gets worse. Sometimes this stuff can be like concrete in there it gets really tough really hard now if you're lucky the ports can be cleared by just blowing through them with some compressed air I'd even recommend doing this once in a while just to prevent problems since it only takes a few minutes to take the sensor off and get to this point now if air won't blow through them that means they're plugged up with soot or water or both if the ports are totally blocked off they can still be cleared out Detroit actually recommends using a plastic zip tie in a drill and running it down inside the ports to clear the soot out. I haven't had much luck doing that myself, but it's worth a shot because the, they recommend leaving the pipe right in place to do this. When I have to clear them out, I tend to pull the pipe right off. Removing the Venturi pipe isn't very hard. Uh, with four bolts and loosening a clamp you can remove the elbow that feeds EGR into the intake that gets it out of the way then it's two more bolts to remove the venturi pipe itself and then you can get it off the truck off the engine and go to a bench and work on it now there is a gasket on the venturi pipe and of course I'd always recommend replacing it but you know in a pinch you can reuse it. It's a tough metal gasket. If you have to, it can be reused. To get the ports cleaned, I've had best luck using uh, something like brake clean, even a uh, combustion chamber cleaner to loosen up the carbon, um, a sharp small pick or screwdriver to reach down into the port. The port isn't just a straight port either. It, it has an angle to it. It changes directions. So you can't just you know, drill straight through it. You may even have to clear the port from the opening that the pressure sensor sits on and also from the other end inside the pipe using some kind of angled pick or something. But hopefully you can stay on top of this. Keep the ports clean by blowing them out once in a while and you'll never have to deal with clearing a blockage. Most importantly, you won't have to see your engine light come on and feel 25% of your horsepower disappear just because of a little soot and water buildup. Well, that's it. If you thought this was in any way useful, you can go ahead and subscribe for more. Uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and thanks for watching.